opening the session and i welcome each one of you so we have uh, abhishek dhruv guru arushi mahendra rohit santosh thank you so much guys for joining in all right so i hope uh, we have a mixed crowd today uh, all those who have been part of the group or part of this entire batch are definitely here guru santosh dhruv and other guys abhishek also if you have joined in for the first time guys don't worry you i might be talking about something which is not probably going to make a lot of sense to you because uh, you haven't attended the previous sessions but still hang on try as much as you can to uh, receive what i'll uh, you know impart you today the topics for today guys is first of all google webmaster we have covered google analytics in the past so uh, in the last couple of sessions or other three sessions we have covered quite a lot about search engine optimization right where we spoke about on page optimization at length and we also spoke about off page optimization at length right in case you have not uh, been able to uh, attend the last any of those last four five sessions maybe or whichever session guys you can definitely go ahead and look at the recordings of the sessions i can give you the link of the recordings which is i'm just typing that down in the chat window guys all right so mahendra i'm just making you on i'm putting on you on mute everybody is going to be on the mute side all right thanks all right so this is the uh link guys for accessing each and every recording of whatever sessions we had in the past all right so i hope everybody has got that within the chat window i am saying that again uh the recordings of the past sessions are available over there if you click on the link right and i believe arushi won't be able to hear me so i'll just let her know that she needs to log in re-log in or any doubts any queries guys from the last session all those who have been part of my sessions earlier uh i mean just let me know any doubts uh with respect to google adwords with respect to remarketing with respect to the display ads with respect to uh what do you say search engine optimization on page and off page whatever we have covered so far let me know guys uh before i begin i definitely want to go ahead and address your doubts or query doubts and queries and then i'll i'll start with the topic for today anybody abhishek dhruv girijesh you are joining in for the first time i believe guru any doubts Ma mahendra i believe mahendra you are also joining in for the first time i believe moses and rohit and santosh all right so abhishek says i will be needing a wordpress yes your wordpress site has been configured abhishek so you will get that uh, uh, within this week right So you'll get that within this week, Abhishek. And Santosh says, "What if the URL of the page is not SEO friendly? How to work on that?" All right. So if the URL of the page is not SEO friendly, let's say you have a website which is based in a CMS. I can open a CMS-based website and then show you. You just need to go ahead and edit the URL of that specific page, Santosh. In that scenario, in such a scenario, you would go ahead and get. the overall url of the page changed all right let's say for an example i go into the post sections of my website <clears throat> excuse me all right guys i the last uh, last week i also had you know couple of uh, not rather couple just one of the google hangout on air i believe most of you are aware that i am i also train for uh, google i'm a official uh, trainer for google as well so uh, i do teach uh, all the google partners when i say google partners these are the agencies who are uh, all across the southeast asia belt so one of the hangout which i did cover was ppc audit so ppc audit was one of them so yeah you might have seen the video abhishek says yes abhishek saw the video i can share that with you guys and so your company website is not in wordpress in that case santosh you would be needing help of your developer to actually go ahead and change that 
all right so in case your website is based out of a cms then absolutely you can go ahead and change that yourself or you know the wordpress part which is absolutely fine so if it's not in wordpress then definitely uh, it's actually a coding stuff uh, santosh whereby uh, you would not be able to do it yourself you might have to take assistance from your developer to actually go ahead and get the url changed all right so some people don't use wordpress they'll have developer absolutely absolutely you need, do need the developer because development skills are totally a uh, new skill sets altogether all right so i believe any other doubts guys any other doubts before i move further move ahead to google webmasters h tags okay header tags we have covered that let me show you what we exactly we did with the header tags so there are six header tags santosh which i did tell you and making sure that your header tags do have the keywords within them is something so let me know the specific question if you have a specific question about the header tags so this is the h tag right uh yeah guru i absolutely it is not so this is this is the header tag right this was the heading one which i have created i can similarly go ahead and create some more content for my web page and make some more content uh part of the header 2 heading 2 heading 3 heading 4 5 and 6 so forth and, th and so on so it's like if your content on a web page is pretty long and i say pretty long it's like uh 500 words then probably in a 500 words article you can take heading 1 2 and 3 maybe uh non wordpress based backend santosh you won't be able to actually work on that because you do need uh development skills coding skills in that so if if in case you are aware of any coding language you can actually do that easily otherwise uh, you can work only so most of the times what happens with seo professionals or digital marketing consultants you ha have to consult the developer to go ahead and do all these things all right all right so arushi absolutely i'll i we I, i was just uh, taking care of the doubts which others guys had in the past session so whenever you as an seo consultant uh, are working on a particular website you are mostly on the consultation side where you get things done and where you consult the developer the content writer the junior seo guys and you speak to the client right but if in case your website so let's say if your website is in a non cms based website then you can absolutely go ahead and give instructions to the developer but if not uh, if your website is based out of cms then that's the reason why i've gone ahead and i've given you some extra skill set you know some extra skill set is like how can you make changes on your own if you have a cms based website right so that's what i have to say santosh and arushi uh, we have been just talking about all that stuff only uh, the doubts which uh, were there from the last uh, couple of sessions or other two three sessions anybody else who has any other doubts great i'm liking that santosh that you have some doubts and you are asking me all right so guru says do search in youtube and visit w3 schools right Uh, i mean you can go ahead and learn all the tagging part through w3 schools guru thank you so much for sharing that so guru has shared one of the great links from which you can learn about the html stuff okay santosh says okay to be specific what are h tags are they used yes they are used so header tags h tags are these header tags this is one of the h tags santosh this is heading 1 can you see this is heading 1 then similarly you will have some more content and that would be h2 h2 is going to be the heading 2 the h heading 1 is h1 heading 2 is h2 so forth and so on you generally try to go ahead and get your keywords embedded into the header tags right so if you have three keywords defined for a specific blog page let's say there are three keywords for the specific blog page which i have selected i'll take the very first keyword the primary keyword or the focus keyword being part of the heading 1 the second keyword i will make it part of the header 2 and then the third it's very much like a try to imagine you are reading a uh, a newspaper where you see the major headlines on the top then some content then you have a sub headline and then some more content then you have a sub sub headline so a headline is the h1 
the sub headline is h2 and the sub sub headline is the h3 it's all about and you can see even the heading 1 h1 h2 h3 which is heading 1 heading 2 heading 3 the overall size of the heading 1 is way too much and the heading 2 is a bit smaller heading 3 is much more smaller than heading 2 if you keep scrolling further down heading 6 has the smallest size the text size is most smallest as compared to all the other ones right so uh, let me know santosh if i did answer your question or not and abhishek says i heard that companies are no more interested in a person who knows both the developing part and issue part uh see if you know both the parts then absolutely companies are uh, not really sure of what are your exact skill sets you're absolutely right abhishek because they're looking for experts they're looking for only a person with a specific uh, skill set if you have seo uh, stuff then you should be in a position to get things done from your uh, team so uh, more or less more most of the organizations are looking for uh, experts only like you said abhishek you're right so Mahindra says, how to create robot.txt? All right. So Mahindra, we had a great uh, session on a detailed session on that. I am not really sure whether I'll be able to take that in detail right now. Because I, uh, what you can do, you can check for uh, one of my recording sessions. I'll share the link with you of my recording sessions. Any doubt or any queries you will have, then you can surely uh, get back to me on that otherwise we have our new batch which is running on sunday so tomorrow we have a new batch where we are just we have just started with google adwords so uh, we'll definitely jump on to search engine optimization also after some uh, sessions over there so th at that point of time also i would take the robots.txt or maybe you can email me in that case mahindra in case you still are not able to do uh, get uh, through how to actually work on that even after the recording if you're not able to get through the, do ping me across okay guys this is the uh, url through which you can get the access of all the recordings of whatever sessions we had in the past all right so feel free to share across with me uh, whatever doubts you have all right so i have uh, Santosh says, uh, but I don't think we have six heading tags in each pack. Absolutely. Many people don't use six heading tags. It's only up till H1, H2 and maximum H3. Only those pages which write in 2000, 3000, uh, you know, sort of text win in web page. Very few websites actually use that. You're absolutely right, Santosh. Abhishek says, it's your choice how many headings we want. Absolutely right. So Guru says, guys, I've attended some interview of digital marketing common question was how many characters should be in Google search ads in heading and description line one and two. Absolutely, that's great. Good, guys. So uh, you can surely go ahead and uh, you know share your experiences with each other. Great. So we have a good number of turnaround today. Uh, and welcome all, of, all those who have just joined in. So Suruchi Chitram has just joined in. Rashi has just joined in. And we have... Uh, Moses, I believe you can hear me. Let me know because I see that there is uh, a symbol right in front of your one of your ID, which says that you can't. Okay, you can't hear. All right. All right. So the topic for today is Google Webmaster. Should I move ahead with that, or I can I can still take more doubts, guys, if uh, they are pretty quick. Let me know if you have any doubt. or any query all i'll okay move ahead all right all right so what i can see moses and nitin probably can't really hear me all right great rashi welcome to the session all right so what is a google webmaster we have covered so far the on page and off page i hope everybody over here is aware about on page and off page somehow or the other if in case not you are attending my session for the first time probably you might not be but the on-page and off-page are two great techniques through which you go ahead and optimize your website and get it on the top, right? One of the one of the great great Suruchi, one of the great tools which are available and provided by Google in order to measure our performance, our campaign performance or our traffic onto our website is Google Analytics, right? We have seen how do we go ahead and integrate into uh, integrate Google Analytics with our website, right? In our previous sessions, 
Now today I would tell you what exactly Google Webmaster is. Google Webmaster is another similar product. Google Webmaster is an, another product which is given across by Google only to search engine optimizers. Only search engine optimizers uh, use this specific product which is called Google Webmaster. Now there is a new name for Google Webmaster guys which is called Google Search Console. This is a new name. So the transition is happening right now that uh, the name is getting changed. Now, like I said, Google has plenty of products. Google has its own search engine. Google has Google Maps, Google Translate, Google Drive, uh, Google, uh, plenty of other things. Similarly, Google Analytics, Google AdWords, and then Google Webmaster. The URL to open Google Webmaster is google.com forward slash webmasters. All right, I'll just share with you. So that's the URL guys through which you can actually uh, open webmaster. Why is it used? I'll just come on to that. You can see it says Google webmaster is on the top and it says sign into search console. So the name has got changed right now. Somebody, anybody can actually ask you that whether there has been a change in the name or not. There are plenty of videos which are available for WordPress webmaster education also. I would tell you a lot of great things about uh, webmaster in case you have good amount of time with you you want to uh, understand much more stuff about webmaster you have a lot of uh, information provided by google also and uh, all right other thing about webmaster which i want to tell you this particular product which is only meant for search engine optimizers helps in helps the search engine optimization experts from understanding from the point of view of understanding the overall health related issue when I, when I say health related the health of the website health related issues of the website from the SEO perspective. So how is my website performing from the overall uh, good says I need that information absolutely sure. So SEO experts day in and day out want to know whether there is anything wrong which is happening with their website is the, from the SEO perspective or not. All those suggestions, all that stuff is actually given across by uh, Google Web by Google within the Google Webmaster platform, right? It says get data tools and diagnostics for a healthy Google friendly site. For a Google friendly site, you need to diagnose your site and get certain suggestions. And after getting suggestions, you can make changes. That's what Webmaster is. Another reason for having webmaster use using webmaster guys is to actually verify the ownership verifying so another reason for using Google webmaster is verifying the ownership of a website. Let's say today if I have my website which is yourcreations.ca all right this is my website guys it's just opening in a while. All right, so let's say this is my website, but now how uh, would Google know who owns this website? Now today, if Google has to really inform something to the owner of this website. You know, let's say there is a, there is a virus attack on this website and Google finds that there is something really unsecured about this website and needs to be changed across. So these are certain uh, possible situations which happen, a virus attack, a hacking you know your website has got hacked across or your website uh, the search engine optimization of your website is getting done in the most ineffective fashion when i say ineffective fashion uh, your website optimization is getting done across in uh, illegal way which is called a black hat seo now there are plenty of ways i will talk about black hat in a, one of the session also Black hat issue techniques are those techniques which are sort of spam. These are called spam, spam activities. So it's like if you are using spam activities for, <clears throat> for optimizing your website, you will go nowhere. Google is going to penalize you. Now, if Google has to make you understand that you're doing a lot of spam related activities and you're doing black hat issue techniques, for that also Google has to communicate to you. Google has to communicate to you the website owner in various situations. Number one, a virus attack. Number two, a hacking 
stuff or number three a lot of black hat seo plenty of uh, way uh, reasons for which they want to communicate to the owner of the website for that we can when i say we as in the website owner can let google know that yes i am the owner now how google get to know that i am the owner with the help of google webmasters i can go ahead and click on sign into search console and connect my gmail id you know connect my gmail id uh, through the google webmaster so i have my uh, gmail id over here all right so which i have through which i have logged in and you can see i have already got my website configured also with google webmaster so this was done by me in the past how i did that so these are all my other websites yocreationsonline.com yocreations.in yocreations.ca <clears throat> this is one of my clients website how do we go ahead and connect our website to google search console is this through this way i click on add a property and i go ahead and type in let's say i type in a website name which is nickseo.com all right so let's say this is my website guys i go ahead and do it for this website i click on continue now what happens this is my website guys nickseo.com for which i am trying to get my website configured you know added across to google webmaster oh my god okay this was not the one which i own so maybe that was another one all right forgot all right so yeah this is the one nick seo.in so all right i need to go ahead and change that across all right so what i do i click on add a property and i go ahead and take the url which is this and i go ahead and add it across to the search console all right so when i add into the search console i click on continue guys you can uh, intimate me wherever you have any doubts or any queries i can help you in that now what happens the way you can integrate your website with your search console is through this you have entered the website now it says that what is the recommended method this is one of the method method through which you can actually go ahead and configure your website with google webmaster if you know how to work with ftp and upload a particular file onto your website then you can use this if that is not the case you have a non if you have a cms based website let's say then you can go to the alternate methods click on html tag so i'm repeating again i click on alternate methods click on html tag and you can see there is some html tag over here i select that and i copy that tag all right and then i click on my website backend i would open the backend of my website and i will try to get that configured what is cms a cms okay great question a cms is called a content management system no don't worry moses so in your uh, batch it will be clear uh, when you'll uh, you know attend sessions right from the beginning so cms is called a content management system it's a software online software which is used to actually manage the back end of your website overall content of your website all right so i'll just go ahead and so i am i'm just opening my content management system which is the wordpress only and just give me a second i need to know the password which is all right just a sec just give me a second i'll open the back end of my website so i want to show you
how it's going to work like in a uh, actual scenarios so it's opening up so there are a lot of content management system actually in the industry wordpress is one of them zoomla magento open cart so forth and so on all right so i'll just do that All right, so I'm trying to log into the back end of my website for which I'm trying to get the uh, Google Webmaster set up. Okay, now I'm at the back end of my website. This is called a CMS guys, which is a WordPress CMS. All right, at the back end of my website, the back end of my website looks like this. In order to configure it, I would go, in order to configure Google Webmaster, I would go to the plugin section and click on add new. I try to teach the most easiest way of doing that. So if anybody knows how to go ahead and change, uh, you know, uh, change the files on the website and overall uh, upload files. All right, somebody is on the unmute mode. Let me go ahead and check that. All right, right. So if in case you know how to upload uh, files across on the website, which is good. If in case that's not the option, I try to teach only in the non-technical fashion. So this is the non-technical fashion, guys. All right, when I click on the plugin section, I click on add new, then you go ahead and type in Google Webmaster. So after configuring, I'm just showing you how to configure. After configuring what all you should look at, I'll tell you all that also. So it says verify Google Webmaster tools. You can take this, which is by Audrius. You can ease also take the other one. So let's say install the very first one, which says install now. Then you would go ahead and click on activate plugin. And after clicking on activate plugin, it says plugin activated. All right. The plugin has got activated. You scroll further down, you would see there is going to be a webmaster option in totality which is you when you go into the settings part it says google webmaster tool see this is something which was not present earlier after adding in the plugin only this thing appears you go ahead and click on google webmaster tools and it says paste your google webmaster tools verification code here all right we go back to the google webmaster panel and this was the meta tag guys right i go ahead and copy this and i would paste it on my onto the back end of my website where it did say google webmaster tool all right so i delete this and then i go ahead and paste this meta tag and i click on save changes all right that's how the save it has got done i would go back over here and then i click on verify i go back to my google search console or my google web uh webmaster panel i click on verify because i've already pasted that meta tag all right so it says congratulations you have successfully verified so that was the most easy way to actually get it done and i've shown you the practical way of getting webmaster set up for your website all right do you guys remember the way we set up our google analytics onto our website Anybody who remembers that any doubt so far, I can take that also is this is the similar. There was a similar way through which we have set up our Google Analytics also guys. Right, so you guys remember that Guru says yes, Dhruv says yes, Rashi says yes. Anybody who has a doubt on how do we configure Harshika doesn't recall that. All right, I can take that. Anybody else who wants me to take that, I will take. Uh, okay, let me just help you remind that. Uh, Okay, I would do that. All right, so I would go on to Google Analytics. Similarly, I can connect Google Analytics also, guys. Let me help you remind that. When I go to Google Analytics, I can sign into Google Analytics. And I need a username and a password. All right. All right, so what I would do in this case, when I enter into Google Analytics, I would go into the admin section. And after going into the admin section, I will click on create a new account. After clicking on create a new account, so what I did, I entered Google Analytics and I clicked on admin. And I after clicking on admin, I clicked on add a new account. And I enter 
my account name as Nick SEO, let's say my website name is Nick SEO dot in. I enter the URL, which is Nick SEO dot in. I select the category, whatever the category may be. So let's say it's business and reporting time zone. I'm, I don't really give a damn which time zone it is. I go ahead and select all these and click on get tracking ID. When I click on get tracking ID, I click on I accept. So I'm just uh, spending a couple of minutes in this. All right. Once I get this, this tracking ID is something there. If I if I'm doing it for a WordPress based website, I'll take this UA code. I take this UA code, copy this across. All right. I go back to the back end of my website. This is the back end of my website. I go into the plugin section again. Click on add new. When I click on add new, I enter Google Analytics. Again, this is the most easiest way, guys. All right, I can go ahead and click on this one, the, the one which is with Kevin. All of them are great. I can go ahead and install this one. Once this, I go ahead and click on install, click on activate plugin again. And once I do that on the left hand side, again, if I go into the settings part, now you can see Google Analytics also popping up. I click on sorry I click on Google Analytics and it says the web property the UA code you you can see there is a, this is a dummy UA code I would go ahead and delete this and I would paste that same UA code which I have taken it from my Google Analytics account this was the UA code right this was the UA code I go ahead and paste this and click on save changes all right that's how that's what it's being done and I would go ahead and that's it. It's done and I can go ahead and go to the home section. Now this is also done. Okay, Guru says, can you take one separate class on analytics because interview will ask more things on this. I'm referring some videos as well. But if you take the class, absolutely, I will do that, Guru. For sure, you have asked me for this. I will definitely take that. All right. I hope everybody is able to hear me because I see Moses is not. Uh, Moses, are you able to hear me? All right, so Dhruv says, yes, you can hear me. Uh, I'm not really sure. Okay, you are. You can hear me, all right. So you have a different uh, login ID through which you, it says that. All right, great. So you can see the video, the, the uh, okay, Guru, I'll take that. So, and for e-marketing, we can make a website in WordPress or do changes in e-marketing website. So when you say e-marketing, you mean the e-commerce? Are you trying to say that, uh, Harshika? Uh, okay, so for e-commerce, website you say and for e-commerce website we can make a website in wordpress yes you can you can make a website in wordpress and for that you need a template absolutely so let's say guys uh you want an e-commerce site uh which is hmm, there is a website named themeforest.net where you can go ahead and select for a template whichever kind of template you want for your website all right, so I have actually gone ahead and, uh, uh, you know, got websites for most of you, all those who have subscribed to, what do you say, DMP. So Abhishek, your domain has been booked and Dhruv, your website was already given to you. Girijesh, I'll get it to you. Uh, Roshi, when you will also join, I'll give it to you. Guru has got the website. Harshika, your domain has also been booked by me. Uh, Mahendra, not really sure. Are you uh, part of any of our... Uh, Okay, Dhruv, I'll, I'll give it to you. So, Mahindra, are you part of any of our DMP, uh, what do you say, center? Not really sure. Moses, I'll also give it to you once you will subscribe. Nitin, uh, not really sure. Rashi, uh, I believe I have given your website. And Sandeep, Santosh has been given. Sundar, Sandeep, all right. So, whosoever has not got the website and has been part of DMP, let me know. I would help you to get your website. Okay, if you are looking for an e-commerce website in WordPress, you can see over here, you go into the WordPress section on Theme Forest, and you have the e-commerce section. Underneath WordPress, you have the e-commerce section, and you have plenty of themes over here. Okay, Guru has actually configured his website 80%. Let me show you guys. So this is a great example. Uh, he has been dedicatedly working on his website. I really like that. So there has been handful of participants who actually uh, spend in a lot of time and do all that stuff so it makes it it does deserve me showcasing you this website which guru has actually uh, got that change so guru has also shared across the url it's opening up i believe i have 
got plenty of stuff opened up so i'll just remove them all right so you can see even the favicon has been changed now what is a favicon favicon is this small little thing okay great this is the website which he has already changed that's really looking nice amazing stuff amazing stuff guys so uh, this is something really appreciable great great hats off to you good stuff good stuff so this is the uh, website which is being given to each and every participant of digital marketing patshala and guru has made effective utilization of the website which is being given to him right so uh, in case you have guys have got your website good then you can also go ahead and make changes to your website in case you haven't do let me know on whatsapp i'll i'll help you into uh, getting your website all right so these are the themes so somebody did ask me i think it was harshika harshika you can actually go ahead and check for a lot of uh, themes over here all right uh, so whatever e-commerce themes you are looking at they are available for 59 dollars it's a one time investment and you can simply go ahead and create these wordpress theme very easily all right this is uh, one thing and coming back on to the google analytics part but like ebay all right so go ahead and ask me a question sure so whatever products you have on ebay you can go ahead and upload that across on your e-commerce e website to harshika and you can even uh, configure your ebay products onto your website too and you can optimize your website i i'm sh really sure that i have to take the session on optimizing seo your e uh, ebay products also there is hardly going to be any difference the way we have done it for other websites and the way we are doing it for uh, we will do it for ebay related products also okay so in ebay template in ebay listing can we make changes in listing i'm not really sure whether we can make uh, changes or not sure email me across your doubts i'll i'll check it this week this week i'll definitely help you with the ebay stuff all right guys so i know everybody has got their own specific doubts so thank you so much for being patient and listening to others also and this is how you get the analytics part also configured coming back to webmaster which we were working on once the webmaster has been configured as of now for the website which i have configured there is no data which is available all right this will take some time it will take some time to get the where data i can take another website let's say one of my clients website so guru says what is that woocommerce plugin you can take that question later i don't want to okay it's for e-commerce for e-commerce websites for wordpress e-commerce woocommerce is needed that's the only answer all right so this is let's say one of my website has got configured with search console what all things as an seo professional should you look at you can see a lot of data has been fetched across has is actually getting depicted by google in the google search console or google webmaster all right what you can see over here it does tells me first of all in the dashboard section the crawl errors it says that uh, the domain name server which is called the dns it's working fine the server is the server connectivity is also fine the robots.txt if you guys have been part of previous sessions you would have uh, got to know what robots.txt is if in case not you will absolutely get to know about robots.txt in my other batches too or in my uh, recording sessions so all of this is working fine there are certain url errors you can actually go ahead and get to know about these url errors by clicking on to crawl errors you get information about any specific problem which are there within your website so it says that there is access denied for blogs and images section so these are uh, 403 web okay 403 just a sec i'll just check if there is okay there's only couple of there couple of uh, errors access denied so these particular section are not getting open perfectly so that has to be you can simply go ahead and download this download this in an excel sheet and send this across to the developer wherever you would work you can just send this across to your developer and say that these particular sections are showing a 403 error 403 error is a bit similar to 
404. Now 404, if I hope I have told you about that earlier on, a page which is not existing. I don't want to get much more technical into that. A page which is not existing onto the server gives you 404. Similarly, there is a 403 error also, right? If that particular page is not shown across, is not given access, right? And where did it get downloaded? I was downloading it. Just a sec. All right, so you can download this across and then you can go ahead and send this across to your developer. It says there are these many 404 pages. Even this needs to be fixed across. All these pages are 404. What it means that these all URLs were actually present earlier on and they are no more present. Let's say if I open this specific URL in a tab, in a new tab altogether, so it says a 404, okay? The 404 error shouldn't actually come up like this. All these URLs needs to come in properly, guys. There are plenty of 404, which is almost like 73 pages. 73 URLs were existing previously, but they have been deleted somehow. If they have been deleted, there is one good way of actually uh, getting to fight or getting a resolving a 404 error is by redirecting. You can ask your developer to redirect all 404 to the home page, guys. This is one thing which you have to tell to your developer. I repeat again, when you go, once you go into the Google search console and you get to see that these are the issues, you download that, all right? Once you download and you get to know that these are the overall 404 errors, right? These 404 errors, pages which were existing before and have been deleted by the website owner, there was some content present on this website long way back you can see it says that on 18th of april 2014 2015 sorry this was present and it was last crawled on 19 8 2015 whenever search engine has come and crawled on this page there has been no specific content and which has led to bad search engine optimization i am not really sure whether you guys are uh, able to understand what I'm talking. If in case not, do let me know. I repeat again, 404 is a specific stuff, guys, or a specific error which comes in. You know, this is a 404, which comes in whenever, uh, you got it, all right, whenever a page, let's say, which was existing before. This page, these all pages were, had some or the other content, maybe four years, four months back or three months back, but Due to certain reason, the management, the overall website owners have deleted that. When they have deleted, this error has started coming. Now, they have not actually handled this situation perfectly. It's not good to have a 404 page like this. All right. There are two ways to resolve a 404 page error issue. One is to actually redirect, uh, make, make, a 40, uh, make a 301 redirect. 301 redirect of all 404 pages to the home page this is one thing or the other way out to resolve this issue is by having a custom 404 page now this website is not having a custom 404 page a custom 40 good looking 404 page looks like this let me show you how snapdeal has done that so if i open snapdeal.com forward slash let's say whatever url i type in that will that should be a 404 this is a 404 page a great 404 page a great 404 page should have certain links on the top in a header a great 404 page should have certain links in the uh, text you know a text when i say in the middle so that and maybe and also the footer part why is that because whenever a crawler will access the for a page on your website which has a 404 they should be able to get hold of something or the other to crawl across if the 404 page 
is not like this and if it's like this the crawler will actually move out from your website it will never ever come back right it doesn't have any content this is a great ugly looking 404 which is never ever recommended a good 404 is something like this even if a search engine or the end customer both of the parties anyone out of these both the parties somebody comes onto your website he or uh, you know the end customer or the search engines both both of them comes onto your website they will not get lost they will not move away from your website they will not close the website they will at least have a lot of opportunities to click to and they will the uh, overall probability of that particular individual or also the search engine staying on your website is higher if this kind of 404 page looks like so the overall solutions to have uh, to this 404 issue is to first of all one of the uh, way out is to redirect it redirect the 404 page to the home page or second one is to have a custom 404 the way snapdeal has done both of them are correct you can choose any of them you can choose any of them the way flipkart has done they have actually uh, made a redirect so let's say if i do flipkart.com forward slash a b c d blah 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 whatever when i type in i it this has to be a 404 when i enter it automatically redirects to the home page both the stuff both the scenarios are right you can ask the developer whichever way you think uh, you want to do it i am a quite a big fan of the way snapdeal has done a great looking 40 custom 404 page is absolutely uh, uh, is is a great thing because you are letting the user know that you have typed in something wrong and you have come into a particular page which was existing before and not now or maybe you have typed in something wrong either of those cases and you can access other part of our website all right so Guru says most of the theme for his themes are having absolutely most of the themes uh, which are available they have their own custom 404 yeah even our theme also have that you're absolutely right are we all good with uh, whatever I have made you understand about 404 pages guys let me know with a yes or no so that I can move ahead if not uh, then you can say no and I can surely explain that again Dhruv says yes Rashi says yes Moses say yes okay arushi girjesh uh, mahendra yes santosh yes abhishek says please open a 404 for travel guy all right i'll do that harshika says yes good says yes all right so for travel guy dot in let's say whatever i type in so the url has to be sorry the domain has to be correct and this is the 404 page of travel guy discover great travel combinations when which include places to eat stroll photograph and it does have one of the links to actually refer to which is a good okay it, it is a good uh one i wish not really sure are you working for this organization or what or is this your website or what is it uh, so Abhishek says the home page opens up but the url is still there uh the home page opens up but the url is still there Yes, me and a friend made this. So home page is this. Okay, not really sure about the home page, how it looks like. So you can ask me a question later on. Maybe you can email me. All right, so this is the home page. Yeah, okay, right. So you have, uh, okay, your 404 page, absolutely right, Abhishek. You are absolutely right. Your home page is actually opening up whenever there's a 40, but the URL is not getting redirected. You are absolutely right. You probably might have to redirect. You might have to get the redirect option otherwise even right now whatever 404 you have is okay is is perfectly fine all right so that's about 404 and the other thing about google search console let's see this is these are all 404 i can download all these again so guru says if you type in keyword facebook we can see one dashboard on the right hand side including logo founder name and many things these things are created with the help of yes absolutely and these are called site links your absolutely uh, and schema absolutely uh, which i'll take that uh, how these are being done so whenever you type in a specific brand name let's say oops sorry just a sec not the dot com one i didn't mean the dot com what 
Guru says, if I type in a specific keyword, let's say, Snap Deal, which is a brand name, on the right hand side, what we get over here is something which gets created with the help of Google Webmaster and also Google profile page. You need to have a Google profile page and need to get that connected and uh, this is how you actually get that done so i'll so it, it's and it's a site links part the site links which are there within google webmaster and also a schema a schema thing i'll come on to that this is way too technical well let me cover up the most easiest part and then we'll come on to that maybe today or maybe we'll we'll take that part absolutely if not today maybe in next session feel sure i'll take that because today I want to go ahead and throw in some light on the most easiest part. What is it actually called? It's called schema, schema, schema. It's called schema or uh, there was another thing which was earlier part of it. Google authorship. And uh, what do you call that? You connect it. You connect your website with Google Prof, uh, Plus page. You connect your website and with the Google Plus page and you have the site links. You play around with the schema, have the Google authorship and Google Plus page and site links. All four of them, when you actually get that connected, this entire stuff actually comes in, which is great. I'll surely cover that, right? Uh, okay, okay, okay. Coming back to the search console so that I, wanna, I don't want to miss out on the flow which we were talking about. Going back to the search console, all right. Let me just see, is it the same stuff? Yes, it's the same stuff. All right, so that was with 404. Now come, going back again to the uh, dashboard, guys. So the crawl error, the, the overall errors we have taken. Guru says, one more thing, Snapdeal is showing their own uh, ad through we typed the keyword Snapdeal. Yes, they do. I know. Uh, <laughs> this is all about getting maximum uh maximum probability you're right guru you you actually see great things you have an eye for detail uh, i have a great question when i type in a keyword snapdeal snapdeal is not just ranking up uh, for their own specific keyword in the organic listings but they are also getting a google search ad running across for this keyword this is because to avoid competitors absolutely and this generally happens that competitors also, when, if, when you become a big brand, you know, when you become big brand on your brand name, your competitors can also run uh, ads. You know, this what ha this generally happens. Let's say, you know, they actually bid on your specific keyword until unless you have not uh, trademarked it. So even if you have trademarked today, Google allows it. So Guru says this ads cost more. Yes, it adds cost more. Let's say if I take another example. When I type in Samsung mobile, it is Samsung and Ask Me Bazaar, and there is no one else. You have Amazon, they are third party partners only. Okay, Samsung is a bigger brand, maybe that's why they're not letting anyone else to do that. When you type in a smaller brand hmm. even that's not happening with these guys okay I'll, I'll let you know so uh, there are certain ways through which people actually do that I have seen so many ads where you type in Pepsi and Coke will be actually on the top right now it's not happening Okay, maybe later on I will I'll I'll ditch, uh, I'll show you that no problem. All right, so this was the crawl error, guys. When I come went on to the dashboard part, the other is the search analytics. When I click on search analytics, it gives me some more information about the overall traffic. So we get a lot of information about our traffic with the Google Analytics platform also, but we can get it from Google Webmaster too. You can see the information which it gives me is this that how many clicks and how many impressions have been received on day-to-day -day basis and what all keywords are getting me clicks 
you know these are overall keywords which are getting us clicks right so i can definitely go ahead and uh, optimize my website further for all these keywords i can surely go ahead and download this and take some more information so this is just good to know information guys i can check the impressions part and the ctr i hope everybody remembers all those who have attended the previous sessions would be knowing about ctr which is click through rate which we have covered in the google adwords right ctr is uh, a close uh, relation you know it's it's all about number of clicks upon number of impressions in 200 so it's a 6.89 percent there these many uh, impressions this is on the organic side not on the paid side all right we need to check whether things are improving for my website or not are they on upward trend or not so over here i can see a slowly and steadily things going further down so maybe the organic traffic has gone down but it has started picking up again it has started picking up again i can click on position and when i click on position it tells me what has been the overall average position okay, right now it's 30th you know you can see it's 30th position if i go over here it says 43 24 13 21 so forth and so on but the position should actually go further down because in 22 is not a good position as compared to uh 13 you know 13 is a good position lower the position better it is average position is 36.7 moses says how do we come to know whether it is paid or unpaid okay great a question uh with google search console no unpaid stuff is going to be shown across to you it's only the adwords it's only the adwords platform where the paid uh, data you know data of the paid campaigns are shown across to you within the google search console it's always the unpaid it's by default search console is always about the unpaid and adwords is always about the paid part all right so uh, tomorrow when we'll have the paid session you'll get to see the adwords platform all together uh, moses and search console so uh, there are two different platforms one is the adwords product and the other is the search console search console is purely for the non paid or the organic rankings unpaid part and the adwords is purely for the paid part uh, the paid uh, ads which appear on the top right i hope i did answer your question and uh, guru says what's that rank the rank is specifically for the keywords which are being typed over here for all these keywords what have been the average position you can see this for this keyword ad adapt software india private limited guru the position has been 1 for this uh, keyword the position has been 5.2 so forth and so on for this keyword it has been 8.5 for this keyword it has been 44 so forth and so on so overall average you know when i say uh, the position whenever someone will type in this keyword in google.co.in this particular keyword most of the times appears on the first position that's why it's 1.1 and this keyword appears most of the times on the 5th 6th or 7th that's why the average position which is coming up over here is 5.2 all right so when i click on that specific keyword i can get more information how many uh, have searched this keyword where do we see all right i'll just show you that how many have so this is this entire data is for the past one month let's say if i want to check in the past uh 90 days let's say i want to check for the last 90 days uh, let me just go ahead and remove the ctr okay for this keyword in the last 90 days this very first keyword my website has been ranking most of the times on the first position and 307 people have actually searched uh, for this keyword and uh, 192 out of the 307 have actually clicked on it that's what that's the answer to your question moses how many have searched for this keyword is the impression just 307 and how many have clicked on it is 192 
and guru i hope i did answer your position question also this keyword has been punched across by 97 people in the last 90 days and 154 people have clicked on it all right great so so forth and so on you can always look into this data and get some more uh, idea onto that you can surely go ahead and download this data okay so there are almost i've got 500 keywords written over here so there are more than 999 I can download this in an Excel sheet again. Let me see how many keywords are over here. All right, so there are almost close to 1000 keywords which have been depicted over here for which the keys are automated generated. The keywords you mean to say these keywords are actually uh, represented over here on the basis of the history the past history my website has been there on the top for these keywords maybe sometime or the other but right now uh, for certain keywords there have been just uh, few impressions but no clicks all right uh, this is on the basis of my website performance to me so automated generated in the sense absolutely automatically they have pulled out this data automatically the data has been pulled out there have been keywords which have got impressions software outsourcing company in india all right 203rd position great and go global chrome extension all right so these are the keywords this is a great uh, uh, database guys i can also check what all devices have given me what sort of uh, traffic so desktop are uh, from desktop there has been these many clicks and these many impressions and for mobile uh, this is the entire data for tablet this is the entire data i can download this and if it's not the devices part okay i can compare data also guys i can compare data as well and I can compare last 28 days to the previous period also. So you can see that there are plenty of things which you can do. It shows me the distance, the uh, overall comparison between two date ranges, which is uh, August 27 to September 23 is one and July 30th to August 26 is another. So this is a one time period, which is 28 days is this, and then you have 28 days over here. Right now it shows me that they, within this period, these were the number of impressions. There were more impressions during the July, August period and not the August, September. It, say, it shows that my performance of my uh, overall website from the organic standpoint of view has been bad in the last 28 days. The previous 28 days, prior to these 28 days, the overall performance was good over here. For July, August, 14,000 impressions. For August, September, only 10,000 impressions. There has been decline, right? And over here also, you can see the average position. The average position hasn't really changed much. Even the total clicks, the total clicks has changed. The total clicks have also been... Uh, uh, 708 there has been a decline earlier it was 811 almost like 1995 clicks have been lesser and almost 4000 impressions have gone down the position has uh, somewhat not changed which is surprisingly i can check things from the country perspective also so what number of clicks are have we been receiving for what number from which all specific uh, country for india there has been maximum number of clicks 542 for this particular specific uh, time period and for this another specific time period what number of clicks and again for august 27 to september 23 these were the impressions and for july 30th to august 26th i'll just zoom in guys so that you can see it much more minutely okay just a second all right so you can see right now for august 27th to so Girijesh says, are keywords supposed to be changing on daily basis or is it constant? Very great question. So the ranking of your website on uh, 
on the search engines do keep change do keeps on changing but i cannot say whether it's on a frequently daily basis or on weekly basis google has no prescribed uh, prescribed uh, set uh, set of rules for that google can go ahead and make changes on the search engine ranking of your website maybe on uh, on the on hourly basis also or it can keep it same for uh, two months or three months also so you can't really say but most of the times uh, uh, until unless you're not doing anything fishy you're not doing anything wrong your ranking won't change very drastically it will just be uh, you know plus one or minus one plus two or minus two kind of a thing right so are we all good with understanding these are the all major stuff guys okay i have another question just a sec moses says what if the advertiser doesn't want to display this ad in other countries all right moses moses whatever we are uh, uh, learning right now it's all search engine optimization all right when i say search engine optimization that uh, we are not uh, running an ad right now uh, it is only in the non paid version when i say non paid version whenever someone types in let's say the keyword sharepoint okay i know you last time suguru so says voice gone okay that's for uh, and everybody else can hear me right so when somebody types in the keyword sharepoint you don't see any advertisement right up over here so just because in the last session you were actually learning the paid version that's why the confusion might come in whatever we are learning right now it's all about the unpaid version through search engine optimization through search engine optimization our website is coming up organically on the top right do refer to some of my videos you will definitely get to understand the difference between all right the difference between the paid version and the unpaid version also so whatever we are learning right now it's the unpaid version all right going back to the search console again mm -mm -mm. over here all right these were the statistics so but if your question moses if you say that advertiser doesn't want to showcase the display uh, doesn't want to display ad in another country that is possible with google adwords when we use google adwords to create a paid ad then absolutely we can decide on the location targeting i can select that my ad will be shown only in such and such country and such and such state and such and such city and uh, such and such pin code even up to till up to the pin uh, pin code so tomorrow we are going to uh, start doing that so just stay tuned tomorrow we have the google adwords session you you will get to know all that all right so uh, organically it's not possible organically if i try that my website should not be seen across in a specific uh, country it's not possible you are absolutely right or right, this is search type i can change it to just to say web image audio video also compare search types research so there are plenty of other things uh, that is not much important so the most important points i have already told you the search analytics i go back to the dashboard again guys so guru says search console and google analytics are more similar uh you you are actually uh, saying that because i have just given you uh, information about search analytics only so let's say guru if you talk about the crawl error where we saw the 404 this was something which google analytics doesn't give you right uh google webmaster has just one uh, part of analytics which is search analytics which is only the organic part all right but when it comes down to other part of uh, other stuff of your google webmaster then there are other plenty of things which i am showcasing you the other third point within the analyt within the dashboard guys is the sitemap part and when i click on this this tells me that how many web pages have been submitted across in the sitemap and how many of them have been indexed i can submit my sitemap over here so this has been just a sec my sitemap was actually submitted in the year 
and this has to be this needs to be updated guys All right, this shows that there have been 100 URLs which have been submitted and out of those 100, only 76 have been indexed so far. In order to get the indexation up, we need to do a lot of uh, off-page optimization. I can click on test site map. Okay, so these are four URLs which have been actually blocked by robots.txt, but uh, still we are making them part of the robots.txt, uh, our sitemap. Okay, I'll just tell you what exactly this means. This is the sitemap for uh, this particular website, and this sitemap is actually not updated right now. The way we can create sitemap, I hope everybody recalls, whosoever has uh, attended my other off-page and on-page optimization uh, sessions, it was xmlsitemaps.com through which you can create and you can get that uploaded, right? So within Search Console, where is it? Just a sec. Right. So within Search Console, you can check how many web pages have been indexed and crawled across. Right. Uh, another great thing about this platform, guys, is the Messages tab. When I when you click on the Messages tab, it doesn't have any message right now. I did tell you that if Google has to share something with you, Google has to say something to uh, you, and when who are you? You are the website owner or the search engine optimizer. Let's say there is a security issue. There is a, uh, what do you say, uh, you know, a hacking which has been happened. There is a, a virus attack or you are using some black hat SEO techniques. Then Google gets to uh, intimate you. Google intimates you through the message tab section. So right now there is no message, which is good. Google has not said anything to us. So dashboard messages then comes in search appearance underneath search appearance. You have the HTML improvement, which is one great thing which one has to look at. What this particular uh, tab, guys, tells me about the meta description and the title tag and the meta ta description tags, if there are anything duplicate between these, all right? When I click on duplicate meta description, this gives me entire information. I hope everybody remembers the meta description, guys, right? I can get information about those pages which have duplicate meta descriptions let's say there are pages which have uh, same meta descriptions i need to go ahead and get that edited get that uh, worked upon and this or overall information is actually provided over here this particular meta description is present across on all these urls all right so how do i get to know about this So this is like two URLs right now, which I can see. I can press in Alt Enter. Similarly, this specific uh, meta description is present on two different URL again, and this particular meta description present on these many URLs. My goodness, can you see that? There are plenty of URLs over here which have the same meta description, the same meta description present on so many URLs over here. Are we all good? Do we understand what, uh, are you all understanding what I'm talking about? The duplicate meta description, the meta description part, which we have understood earlier, how many character limits should be there in meta description guys? If whosoever has joined, uh, you know, has been part of my sessions, would should be knowing about that. How much character limit should be for a title tag and how much character limit should be for a meta description, guys? 155, absolutely right for meta description. And uh, anybody else is who remembers the meta description part? Dhruv says 150 to 160. And how about title tag, guys? Anybody who remembers that? 
the title tag character limit sixty absolutely anybody else absolutely 70 characters 50 to 60 absolutely google shows 60 characters absolutely right partha sarthi you're right yeah absolutely right guru all right so is it is it advisable is it advisable to get same meta description on multiple pages that's my another question guys no right so it's not advisable to have same meta description so if I get to know that sim this meta description, which is the you know this one is actually applied on so many URLs. When I say so many URLs, these are the URLs. I can separate them out. There's so many URLs which have the same meta description. What would I need to go ahead and get this fixed, guys? How do you think this can be fixed? This is my client's website. So, I mean, I used to do optimization for them in the past. Uh, they have changed quite a lot. So that's why uh, how this gets created. Uh, the meta description has to be created by us, us only. So when we are doing optimization, these meta description has to be created by us only. So again, uh, I, I can really understand where you're coming from, Moses. You'll uh, when you will un uh, hear my other sessions also you will get to know what meta descriptions are and how do we get that data to answer your question we are the ones who will write these meta descriptions we are the ones who will write these meta descriptions and once we'll write these meta descriptions we have to make sure that they all are unique it will take more time absolutely it will you can't really escape you can't really escape this thing you would always have to go ahead and create unique meta description for each and every page right so that's how you get to know a lot of information about the meta descriptions uh, duplicacy similarly you have it for going each page and changing the description absolutely but it's it's worth it it's worth it trust me i did it for the meta description similarly you have it for the missing title tags also and duplicate title tags short meta description over here you can see there are eight pages which have short meta descriptions and there are 40 pages which have duplicate meta descriptions there are 39 pages with missing title tags there are 35 pages with duplicate title tags right so you it also gives you information about non-informative short title tags so forth and so on right more hard work better results in SEO absolutely so this is another great thing about Google Webmaster, guys. And Harshika says in view source page, we can change in meta description. Uh, see, view page source, uh, if you are not logged into your website, you cannot change it. But if you uh, have the source, I mean, you have the access to the admin panel of your website and you go and change the source code. Yes, absolutely. You can change the meta description. So you have to have the overall panel of uh, you know the admin panel in order to go ahead and change the source code yeah absolutely right right so this is something which i'm going to take in the next session guys the structured data data highlighter and site links these are the same things uh, uh data highlighter structured data and the site links through which we get that information on the right hand side uh like uh guru mentioned that right so we'll talk about that the next is search traffic the search traffic I've already told you about the search analytics. We have spent some time on the search analytics part. How many keywords, what all impressions, what all CTR are we getting? And this is something which we've already spoken about. Then comes in links to your site. What are links to your site, guys? What are backlinks? Any idea? So what do we understand by backlinks, guys? Girije says reference, absolutely. Santosh says inbound link, uh, absolutely, you're right. These are called inbound links. Any website which is giving us a backlink is called an incoming link or a links to my site. Getting traffic from other websites, absolutely. What you can see, 
over here, if I want to know how many websites are giving me backlinks, it does tells me that 222 unique domains have got have given me backlinks. All right. And this shows me that I am getting backlinks 295 backlinks from Microsoft.com. Right from Microsoft, which is a very well renowned website. I'm getting 295 backlinks, which is really great from WordPress. I'm getting 280 from Pinterest. I'm getting 143 from there is another website called bharatlisting.com. Okay, this is one of the directories guys which we have used. So Pinterest WordPress have been created by us within the off page optimization. The, this is also an off page stuff Flickr.com, then YouTube PR log is a PR uh, press release submission sites. Then you have vcsdata.com, which is again, I believe is uh, through the off page optimization. Then you have uh, through google.com it says, so I'm not really sure what they mean by Google. So Google is a you know, bigger website. You have classified website, then the social bookmarking. If you remember, uh, is this from display ads getting backlinks from Microsoft? Uh, not really from Microsoft, uh, the whatever backlinks you get through display ads never comes up here. They, they never appear in the uh, backlink uh, report guru. So if you have a specific unpaid unpaid part that only is actually is uh, made part of the backlink report. You, this way you can have as many uh, you can run as many display uh, you know uh, banners on various websites and from those all various websites you will get a backlink. No. So what happened with Microsoft.com we have got uh, the, for this particular client they have got registered themselves as the partners, the partners of uh, Microsoft. That's why the unpaid listing is there, the unpaid listing. If it's a paid listing, it will never get appeared in the, uh, what do you say, in the backlinks portion over here, all right? When I scroll further down, you can see all this is being done by, was being done by my team. Folk.com is another social bookmarking. So Moses says, so you mean people visit all this website? They are diverted absolutely. Whenever people are coming onto these website, they would see a backlink of our website. And whenever they click on the backlink, they'll come onto my client's website. You're absolutely right. Digo.com is another social bookmarking. Reddit.com is another social bookmarking. These all are stuff. This is again, enrollbusiness.com is another directory submission site. Uh, this is again a directory submission, webcosmo.com. It's a classified site. Where do we see, we see the backlink? All right. So uh, this particular tool actually doesn't give me how to create backlinks. Okay. But you're not part of the off page. So we had an off page optimization. I think Harshika, you were part of the off page optimization, right? So we, we spoke at length about how to create the backlinks. So whatever backlinks we had created. Uh, okay. So let's say for webcosmo.com. This page has been linked eight times and this page has been linked one times, but how is the the page where it is get, getting created is not over here. There is another tool for that for answering. Okay, you remember that Harshika and uh, that which is great. In case you want to recall, you can absolutely work or record, refer to the recorded session. And Moses, to answer your question, where do you see the backlink? This particular tool is not giving you the overall information about uh, where do we see the backlink. There is another tool for that. Let me show you that, which is called Open Site Explorer, which is now called Moz.com. I'll just show you. It's called. Right. So Guru says video posting, social bookmarking. Absolutely. Yeah, great. This is the tool guys where you can app actually enter the URL of your website and then you can get to see the backlinks which have been actually created. So let's say if I do it for the same website. This is again a backlink analysis tool. Where I do backlink analysis for adaptindia.com. It says spam score is two out of 17. Okay large site with few links no contact info okay okay just a sec 
overall these backlinks which you can see this particular uh, URL will have even this particular URL let's say if I open the backlinks will get to see over here There are plenty of URLs which are being showcased over here. But it, this is not the exhaustive list. It's showing me, I believe, only 15. I'm not really sure why. OK, when I click on next, OK, it's only 54. This is pretty bad. There is there are other backlink analysis tool. Okay, this is the backlink guys, uh, which I was trying to show you. This is another place through which the backlink was being created. So for if I check on adapt right over here, SharePoint experts at work, this is the backlink which you can see over here. For 4113directory.com, this is the backlink. Right, but somebody would actually click on this, this main website opens up. Right, the main website opened up when somebody clicked on this specific URL. The video lag all right so i'll just be a bit small, uh, slow on that what i did the tool which i had used the backlink analysis tool which is the moz.com one had given me plenty of backlinks let's say this is the backlink these are all backlinks right these are all websites where my backlinks have been created if i click on one of them let's say sme listing.com when I click on this particular backlink, you can see the backlink is up over here. On this third party website, which is giving me a backlink is over here. When somebody clicks on adaptindia.com, right, the main URL, the main website actually opens up. Does that answer your question, uh, Moses? That's how you get to see the backlinks right this is another tool i'll surely let you know about other tools also you got that all right so going back to the overall uh search console part this also gives us the same information which is the backlink so how there are 51 pages which are being backlinked across and uh, these are the pages which have been, been given a backlink I can also get to know when I click on links to your website, this is overview. There have been 1839 backlinks and this is the anchor text on which the backlinks have been created. Right so many backlinks have been created on all these keywords guys these keywords have been used as an anchor text does does you do you guys remember what exactly anchor text is guys these guys uh, these keywords have been used as an anchor text right all right so guru remembers that so this keyword has been used anchor text uh, plenty of times and this keyword contactors have also been used for creating a backlink as an anchor text. So you get a lot of information about that. When you look into all that, you have to see whether you are creating backlinks from right anchor text or not. And you have to check also whether you're getting backlinks, the number of backlinks are getting improved or not, and you're getting it from good relevant websites or not. So right now you can see all these websites which you're getting over here they all are add hyperlink to the words. Absolutely, absolutely right, uh, Guru. You got that right. But that's what called anchor text. I click on 
500 rows and it will give me all the information websites all those websites which are giving me backlinks it gives me monsterindia.com justile.com is also giving me a backlink so forth and so on all right so i don't want to make it much more boring for you all right this is for the external backlinks then comes on coming on to the internal links what do we understand by internal links guys what is the overall understanding of internal linking anybody who remembers that okay uh, the cross linking absolutely absolutely cross linking and internal linking means the same linking one heading to another linking one page of my website to another page of my website is called cross linking or internal linking let's say for an example i go on to my website and right now on my website let's say when i click on read more when i click on read more another page of my same website opens up of same domain opens up this is called cross linking there was a link on one of the page of my website and it diverted it to another third party page another page of my same domain only you can see plenty of links over here when i scroll further down you have so many links over here this is all internal linking being done right when i click on quiz maker plus or let's say leave management system another web page opens up what is this this is all in together the internal linking stuff guys right this is all internal linking which has happened so google search console tells me how is the internal linking working for my website i go on to internal links part underneath search analytics we have covered the search uh, search traffic we have covered the search analytics checking the backlinks and i can get to know about the overall internal linking for my website this shows me that the contact us page is getting backlinks from 256 internal pages of my website okay can you see that so 256 pages of my websites are giving uh, backlinks to the contact us page similarly this, this particular page is getting internal links from 164 we have to make sure that this number actually goes up that's it as a search engine optimization expert we always have to take you know keep a track of the search analytics of the backlinks of the internal links and have to make sure that the numbers are always in the upward moving trend when i say upward moving trend they should improve they should actually go ahead and get increased right so this is these are great numbers all these pages are getting internal links from plenty of other uh, pages of my website all right so that's with internal linking and then comes in manual action guys a manual action is a place or a guru says this can be done in youtube videos as well we can show how other video link at the time of other video uh not really sure how you can do with okay but the internal linking yeah absolutely you you create uh, links over there i know you have those annotations what do you mean by with the help of annotations only with annotations you can refer one video to another video absolutely right so manual action guys manual action is a specific page where there you know you get information or you get messages from google if your website has been doing something wrong if your website is doing a lot of spam activities then google will come and tell you within the manual action within the manual action uh, particular it will tell you that uh, there have been these many backlinks which have been created from such and such website and they all are spam or there are such and such uh, content written on your website and which is all duplicate so you need to go ahead and get that improved otherwise uh, your website will remain in the web spam uh, category so if your website is uh, penalized penalized or manual action has been taken you get to know from over here so always wish that your website doesn't come into manual action google doesn't take any action against your website okay the other part is the international targeting over here you can mention what language or what country are you uh, okay forget about the language for language part is not set up perfectly i can target users i if am i targeting the users in united states more or am i targeting users more in india i can go ahead and change that right right so that's with the international targeting pretty easy stuff i can check for mobile usability 
so it says there are 103 pages okay right now which has got issues where while opening up into the mobile version so this is there is something called viewport i don't want to go with the overall web development aspect this is something which you can download and send that across again to your developer to get that fixed so there are 103 pages which are not getting opened perfectly all right so let me open that and show you okay it didn't give me the overall information strange uh, just a sec all right so it's all over here i can download that across these are the pages which have some pages with issues in the mobile version i can download this and i can send that across to my developer to get that fixed so this has information in terms of these are the pages which have the mobile usability issue all right so that has to be checked into the, the there are viewport settings guys which has to be checked in the mobile usability there is this specific uh, file particular technology which is used to make your website uh, views uh, properly on a mobile device and that technology is called viewport so that has to be addressed very much by your developer so that it can your website can appear specifically it can appear properly onto mobile part so you don't need to get way much technical into that part all you have to check is for the international targeting whether there is any manual action or not as a search engine optimizer you have to check whether there is an internal linking uh, internal links uh, going into the upward trend or not you have to also check uh, whether the external the inbound links to your website you know the backlinks coming to your website are also into the upward trend or not whether that is improving or not also you have to check from the search analytics point of view whether the positions are, is improving the number of impressions the number of clicks uh, from the organic listings uh, from for your organic search results are improving or not right so also you need to check on the messages tab so guru says the site has to uh, has to fix uh, the site has to fix many things search console is making our work easier absolutely search console is over there in order to give you all the oh, suggestions in terms of making changes on your website so that it becomes perfect from the seo perspective that's what search console is over here for it tells you if there is a mobile usability issue it tells you if there is a manual action it tells you if there are internal links going down or up or there are backlinks which are going into the upward trend or not whether the traffic onto your the organic traffic onto your website is moving up or not that also so search console is helping you with all that similarly going on to the google index part now this index part guys shows me how many web pages of my website are indexed in totality it tells me there are 225 right now so this has improved actually which is on 20th of september that's the last data and I can go ahead and download that. So this is also great uh, that there have been more number of pages indexed. And there are four pages which are blocked by robots. So somebody did ask me, how do we go ahead and change the robots? You can make, change, make changes to your robots to txt. I believe that was Mahinder uh, who asked me about the robots part. You can make changes to your robots txt over here also, right? So how you do that is, when you go on to the crawl section, you have the robots.txt tester also. Over here, you can see there are, uh, well, there is a old sitemap which has been disallowed, which has been allowed rather, sorry. So sitemap has been allowed. The disallowed part, this is the overall uh, robots which you can also make changes to your robots part over here. You can make changes to your robots.txt guys from here also, which is this part. What exactly these things uh, are all about? Uh, it's generated at me. What exactly these things are? User, agent, a strict, disallow, disallow all these things. Uh, you can check uh, in in my other recorded sessions. You'll get to know that. 
because that's that's a pl plenty of uh, bigger explanation how do we go ahead and create these similarly you have uh, if you have crawl errors we have uh, covered that part the 404 stuff if there are four, so there were 404 errors and uh, the sitemaps also we have covered how do we go ahead and get to know how many pages have been submitted and indexed when was the last time uh, it was there another thing is the security issue if there is any security issue either you get to know into the messages tab or also within the security issue it says that currently we haven't detected any security issue with your site content if you want to learn more about security issues and how they could affect you can go on to this particular part right and there are other resources okay this is the thing guys which we would be taking up in the next session which is called the structured data testing tool structured data markup this structured data markup it's a bit technical I would definitely take that and that's the way through view which you get that um, markup thing on the right hand side right which the snap deal and the coca-cola one was over there right guys that's majorly with the google webmaster tool in uh, specific you can also okay there is another thing content keywords again it's a good to know information it tells me when you click on content keywords it tells me it gives me information what particular keyword is being used the most in within my website so the significance for sharepoint keyword is the most significant management is this much significant then you have application keyword and app so forth and so on all right so just good to know information there is not much of a usage another one is blocked resources if you remember that within robots.txt if you want certain pages of your website to be removed or to be disallowed or to be non-indexed then you can make changes onto your robots.txt that is one way let's say today if i have got more pages which i want to block i can go ahead and block it with the help of uh, this particular location also which is the blocked resources i can go ahead and block that too so it says that there are there are plenty of uh, urls which are blocked over here right now these are the pages which have been blocked and uh, if i want to add more key more uh, pages to it to the blocked one i can go into the blocked resources and enter remove urls okay that is with the remove urls i go into remove urls and enter that page which i want to block which i want to don't want to showcase across i can click on temporarily hide and enter the url over here right i can enter the url which i want to which I don't want to be indexed and which I don't want to be ranked at all onto the search engines, guys. All right, so that's all about Search Console. We'll take the markup section in the next uh, session altogether, but I want you to consume this and refer to the Search Console. First of all, configure your website in totality. And so uh, you say, uh, Santos says, Google Webmaster and SEO tools are the same. No, SEO tools also have to be covered. We'll take that in next session. So there are, plenty, there are other SEO tools which I'm going to be taking. And Guru says removing of broken link is same kind of process. Yes, it is same kind of process. We go ahead and check for broken links and then you remove that. By, uh, no, no, no. With this remove URLs? No, 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 no. Okay. Removing URL and broken links are two different things, Guru. There are two different things. Uh, broken links is a link which is... Uh, which, ha which is linking to a particular web page which has a 404 error. You go ahead and check for broken links with the help of broken link checker tool. And once you get to know that these are the broken links, you edit those, those links. There can be a broken link on a page which is, uh, which is not blocked from search engines. The removing URL means any specific web page which you want to be non-indexed in totality. In totality, you don't want to index it. Are you getting my point? Remove URL is the per URL is of a particular web page in total, and broken link is one of the link in a specific uh, web page. Any web page which is not blocked from search engine can also have a broken link, right? So making it uh, corrected for the end user, the broken links corrected for the end user and the search engine is one aspect and making our overall web page not indexed 
uh, and not uh, not indexed by search engine is another aspect. All right, you got that. Great, great, great. Any other doubts or queries, guys? Before we wrap up the session, I would like to have the feedback, please. I'll just share with you mm, the feedback URL. Any other doubts or queries? Do let me know, guys. All right, I believe everybody has asked their set of all set of questions today. And I know this is the most, uh, uh, I would say, Google Webmaster, and which is Google Search Console. This is the most uh, uh, uninteresting, I would say, boring topic in totality. But I can understand you guys have been, uh, you guys have been listening to me. And all those who have joined in for the first time, it was... Uh, I would say the luck is uh, was not in favor of, favor of you. Something which I have covered and you are hearing for the first time is something which is not that interesting. It becomes interesting once you will start using the search console uh, for your website. So I'll give you your website. You can up use the search console for your website and come up with your questions. All right, guys, I have shared the feedback URL with you. Feel free to please uh, submit across the feedback and let me know how is the session. Any doubts, any specific suggestions you have, do uh, punch that across. Would love to hear from you. I've shared the feedback URL, please. So Harshika says, can you tell us the website where we can make notes of SEO online website, if any? I, I couldn't get you where we can make notes of SEO online website. Uh, can you rephrase your question where we can make notes of SEO online website, if any? Uh, what sort of notes are you talking about? I mean, on page SEO, okay, so more, more stuff you want to talk about on page seo uh, on page seo uh, you can read more about on page seo on seobook.com this is one great website all right i'll just share that and just a sec the seobook.com is a great website guru says if all the for if all the following are same kind of process for SEO, which must according to you, which what we should do some unique things than others. Okay, if everybody is using the same stuff, what unique things? It's it's majorly the content guru. If you can write in good great content, then only uh, it can separate you from others. Now SEO has become like this way. You cannot go ahead and create a lot of uh, what do you say backlinks and then be on the top. It's always about your entire website having great content, great, unique, attractive content. If that's there, then you are actually uh, doing something different from others. And this is very subjective. This is very subjective. So if I want to read more about Google Webmaster, please tell us the link. Absolutely, it was there. I would share that with you. And all those who have attended a session uh, for the first time and want to join in a new batch, let me tell you tomorrow, the, the batch which we're going to have 8.30 to 10.30 guys, you can attend that. It's almost a new batch. It's just uh, one session which has um, passed by and I would give you the link of those sessions. You can refer to those recordings and then attend the session tomorrow. This is the URL, uh, Harshika, where you can access more stuff. All right. And in terms of the videos, thank you so much, Harshika, for the feedback. Okay. All those who have joined in uh, for the first time, guys, and want to start learning start learning right from fresh i would say is okay mahendra and girijesh are there moses i would refer to you also uh arushi also 
and then I have uh, who else? Moses Arushi Parthasarthi. Uh, you guys can also refer to one of the uh, playlist. Thank you, Guru. This is the one. You know, you have one video right up over here. Just watch this video and then. So refer to the videos over here and come and, and do join in the session tomorrow. All right. So whatever doubts your queries you will have before that you can surely ask me Moses. You were part of this session. You can still go ahead and refresh the things refresh up the other stuff and. All right, I believe. Yeah, that's all I have for today guys. Thank you so much for being part of the session today. We'll absolutely keep on uh, interacting. You guys all are connected with me on WhatsApp, right? So whatever doubts or queries you will have, you can surely ask me. All right, I would take a leave. Thank you so much, guys, and enjoy uh, rest of your weekend, which is or enjoy the Sunday, and then we'll be in touch. All right, guys, take care. Bye now. Bye-bye.